Just wanted to give a quick update to a piece of hardware that we found works really well at, uh, at helping demonstrate the QM42VT1 vibration sensor uh, demo kit. So we have our basic demo set up in front of us here, uh, the gateway and node already connected and then the vibration sensor. The addition that we found that works really well is actually this device here. This is a Bluetooth vibration speaker. Um, basically, it generates sound by driving this, this element right here. So uh, increasing volume drives us even further. Uh, works really well for demoing this vibration sensor. So this speaker, along with an application we, call, we found uh, called Function Generator, uh, does a really good job of, of showing the capabilities of the sensor itself. So in this case, within Function Generator, you have a number of preset frequencies that you can, uh, can use to demonstrate different vibration frequencies, and it, as well as different wave types. So right now we're using kind of a sawtooth wave pattern. And then simply adjusting the volume on the side of your phone will, uh, will change that vibration level. So keep an eye on the gateway here. We're monitoring in inches per second. Uh, our threshold is set at 0.15, so we'd have a reading of 1500 on that display when my, uh, my yellow light comes on on the Q45 sensor here. So just increasing the volume, and you might hear that buzzing in the background, and already we're at uh, 0 0.07 inches per second. Uh, the decimal place is, uh, uh, you divide that number by 10,000, that's how to get to our inches per second. So increasing the volume even further, So now we're above that uh, 0.15 inches per second and you can see the uh, yellow light actually flashing there on the Q45 indicating that we've reached that, uh, that first threshold within that ISO chart. Uh, it's also nice, you can feel kind of that vibration occurring right on the sensor itself. Uh, it gives you kind of a more realistic way of demoing this product rather than just tapping on the side of it. So um, take a look at the uh, I guess kind of the comment section of this video and uh, we'll have a link to some of the hardware that you need but really a simple way to set this product up and have a realistic way of demoing the, uh, the capabilities of this vibration sensor.